I started, I guess, like most kids, drawing in kindergarten. I just never stopped. I'm fortunate to get to travel a lot. I've been very fortunate to be able to share my work around the world. Brad sends me a few pictures of the gym. It's under construction, there's tools everywhere. And I zoom in on these pictures and I see these little skylights. And I can't see them very well, but I ask him to send me some more pictures of those skylights. And I knew immediately that's where I wanted to leave a mark. As soon as I got here, I got on the lift, came up and just saw this little room I was gonna be living in for the week and knew that this was, this was the best place to, to create some work. When you think of a gym as a space for community instead of just a space for activity, it becomes so much more than uh, what we've ever had before. So if we have a reason for people to gather that's, you know, activity's part of it, but the social aspect's part of it, the ambiance is part of it, being a place where you're comfortable, where you can maybe do other things like work or uh, just hang out, be comfortable with your friends. You know, we want a community where people will come, even if they're not climbing at the moment, just to see their friends. And I, I think art's a significant part of that. We have two more installations going to the gym before we open. Kayla Ellenbecker, uh, you know, the manager of the downtown gym, will be putting an installation in. And then a, um, Loudon Newt, a local artist, will also be putting an installation in. But we've got a lot more space for it. The idea of opening with the art is to get some local artists thinking, hey, I could do something there, and we'd love to hear about it. Artists are, I mean, they want to make people happy, and they want to create something that looks pretty. Maybe without verbally telling people what the, the space is, it's showing you what it is, what, what already exists in the community of boulders, um, which is just really cool people um, that all kind of band together and, and hang out and climb and have a good time. Some of the first times I went climbing were on road cuts in my home state of Missouri and it was the worst chossiest rock but we were in heaven and we thought it was the best thing and over the course of the next 15 years. My artwork evolved and my climbing evolved and eventually they were married together as kind of one statement. The mural he drew for us was really unique. I mean, first of all, he's never done architectural elements. He brought some of our city into this. It was really great to see the Capitol and you know some of the, some of the local buildings in this mural. I rolled into town and we went for a walk around the square here and we looked up at these beautiful buildings and start asking questions, you know, what does downtown Madison look like, feel like? I wanted to bring that into these pieces, just this urban atmosphere, but also how can I bridge the gap between wildlife and nature and this urban reality? You know, I see the lake and how beautiful and how it's integrated into the city. And I see uh, these hillsides and these deciduous trees in the background. Behind every block you look down, you can see this background of the trees. And so I wanted to bring that element in. And then specifically bringing in the fox, bringing in the birds, just asking questions. What do you see around town that, that might be surprising? How can I bring that in? And then the geometric shapes were just inspired by the structure here in the building. Not only the boulders, but this um, skylight atrium that we're in. I wanted to bring that in and, and kind of connect it all. I live in an urban atmosphere. I live in a city. I ride my skateboard to my studio. But when I leave the city, I'm going into these deeply special natural places. At its root, climbing is an outdoor activity. It's a connection with nature. It's an activity that you spend in a group of people. And um, I think climbing gyms echo that. It's a community activity. You're encouraging each other, you're, whether, it's, whether you are a person who climbs outside or not, you do tap into that culture, which is, has its roots in the outdoors. I feel honored to be here on the walls at the gym, and I feel like I'm a little part of the community now to be able to leave this here as kind of a gift to this community.